السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ یا ربی لک الحمد کما یم باغی لی جلالی وجہ کا وعظیم سلطانک اللہ ربنا لک الحمد بما خلقتنا ورزقتنا وحدیتنا وفرشت عنا اللہ لک الحمد بل اسلام ولک الحمد بل ایمان ولک الحمد بل قرآن اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربی زدنا علما اللہ فقنا فی الدین اللہ انا نسال کا علم نافیا و عمل متقبل و رزق طیبا اللہ ثبتنا عند الموتی بلا الہ الا اللہ آمین یا رب العالمین ربی یسر ولا توسر و تمم بالخیر Lesson number 10, with our right intentions, with the sincerity, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we're going to start our uh, journey back again. So this is advanced Nahav class, and our topic for today is uh, the Miyiz. So let's start it. What is the Miyiz? Atamiyiz is a word that is used to specify or add detail to a word that is vague or ambiguous. Atamiyiz is generally translated as in terms of. So this is how you're going to find in the translation in terms of. So that is indicator that this word is tamiyiz. And it can be used... with both asma and af'al. So sometimes you're going to find this tamiyiz with isms and sometimes with fail. Grammatically, tamiyiz is singular, common, mansub, and comes after a vague word. So we need to remember these four things. Right? So it is going to be singular, it is going to be common, it is going to be mansub, and we're going to find it after some vague word. So let's see with the example. Asma that take the mees, there are two types of asma that can take the mees. One is asmaul tafdeel. We are familiar with uh, Ismu Tafdil, right? So, Ismu Tafdil, uh, like we say, uh, you are greater than, right? Or better than. Uh, than. So, these kinds kind of uh, words, Ismu Tafdil, we're going to find uh, one singular common uh, Ism which is going to be mansub and that would be the tamiz uh, to clarify because when I say I am better right so you're going to ask me in what sense you are saying it right so I need to bring tamiz after that so after a small uh, tafdil we're going to find tamiz and even after the numbers for example if I say I have 13 Right? So you're going to ask me what 13? Right? So 13 books. Right? Or uh, whatever I'm... So we need something after even a number to clarify. And that would be the means. And I put uh, third one over here. Uh, all these uh, way of scaling. So uh, sometimes we are scaling uh, some weight or we are measuring some liquid things, right? Or distance, 
right kilometer so all these uh, uh, uh these uh, like uh, i should say the scales of uh, measurement they can they also need uh, some clarification for example if i say i drank uh, a liter so you're going to ask me what did you drink right L liter is ambiguous so liter of then i'm going to say okay liter of uh, uh, ruafsa or milk or let's see whatever i'm going to say right so we need something after that so these three categories we need to remember with the asma that is smooth of deal after smooth of deal we need a tamiz after numbers we need tamiz and after all these uh, way of uh, scaling or way of measuring right all these scales of measuring i should say uh, we need tamiz after that so we will see some example and inshallah that will make sense then so we said that the me is gonna specify or give us more detail about some vague word so there is going to be a vague word which is ambiguous not clarifying not uh, we are confused when someone is saying that word right so we need more clarification and that's why the me is would come and the me is would be singular common and nasab that should be in our head singular common nasab singular common nasab atamiz would be singular common and nasab and it will come after a vague word can someone repeat that yes hmm? atamiz is to clarify the situation or number or scale and it is the main features are singular common nasab and yeah. it comes after a vague word exactly yeah so it's going to be singular it's going to be common it's going to be mansub and it's going to come after a vague word so we need to remember these four things uh, that is important because we know that there are many uh, mafools many uh, mafail right so again if this is mansub as well so then we will be confused even the hal gonna look like same right so that's why we need to make sure that we know how to find out the mees okay so uh, we are saying that uh, the mees can be used with ism or fail so if it is, first we are going to look with the ism so if when we are using it with the ism we're going to find ismut of deal before it so basically after ismut of deal we need a tamiz after adad or any scaling or measuring we need tamiz so that is our ism part and then there are some afal certain afal that uh, after them we need at the mees and what are these afal like uh, mala mala mean to feel right so if i say i feel you're going to ask what did you feel something with uh, like uh, i filled a cup of with something right so i need more information this is a ambiguous if i just say i filled or zada increase right so uh, increase in what sense right so we need the mees after that is the other same is the other mean also to increase then kaffa sufficient right so uh, in, in what sense some something or someone is sufficient sa a sa a mean terrible so in what sense we are saying that someone or something is terrible hasuna mean good or beautiful so in what sense again right so these are certain of all that we are going to find the mees after them and now let's see first uh, our asma so we said that, that after ismut of deal we are going to find 
tamiz. So, and isam taftil is vague in the sense that uh, it makes a comparison, right? We know that ismu taftil make comparison, better, more, greater, but does not give a clue as to what make that thing better, more, or greater. For example, ana aksaru minka ma minka. If I just stop here, ana aksaru minka. Right? So how are we going to translate ana aksaru minka? Ana, I am. This is my muktada. Aksaru more minka than you. Than you. Right? So I'm more than you. So your next question is in what sense you are saying it. Right? So I need the means after that. And that's why you see Malan over here. So Malan is the Tamiz over here. And Tamiz, if I ask you what Bab it is coming from? Tamiz, what Siva is it? Fa'il. Yes, the fa'il. Yeah, very good. Okay, so this is uh, so what 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 is the Madi version? What is the Madi version? Yes, but what is the Madi version for this word? Mayaza. Mayaza. Mayaza you mayizu. Mayaza you mayizu. What is mayaza mean? To clarify. To differentiate. Yeah, to differentiate, right? We say even mumtaz, right? Mm. Yeah, so same. So mayaza you mayizu, and then come tamiz. Tamiz. So, tam, yiz. In uh, Urdu, we say tamiz. That is different. Don't confuse with that, okay? Tam, tamiz is basically manners in Urdu. But this is tam, yiz. Taf'il. So, this is um, uh, Allama family, basically. So, this is something that clarify. So, ana aksaru minka, I am more than you, in what sense, malan. So, see, malan is singular, right? Malan, malan. is singular, malan is uh, mansub, and okay. malan is common. Okay, so these three things we're going to find. And then, wa a azu, what kind of word is a azu? Azza Azza you Azza Yeah Azzu. It is Azza. 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 Yeah, this is we are going to learn that in Sarf. But uh, this is uh, also in uh, on uh Afdaru or Raksaru is Mutafdil pattern. Okay. So I am mightier. Because uh, um, uh, we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-aziz. So this is related to power, authority. Right? So azu uh, mean mightier. This is comparative. I am mightier, minka, mm -hmm. than you in what sense now? So you are saying I'm mightier than you, then I'm going to ask in what sense? Right? So now it is explaining over here, nafaran, in terms of in terms of nafri or in terms of manpower, basically. Right? He has more employees, he has more uh, uh, children, he has more people to take care of uh, him. Right? More people uh, uh, under uh, his authority, authority. That's what he is saying over here. 
so ana aksar minka malan wa azu nafara so both here malan and nafara are tamiz over here excuse me ustad assalam alaikum राइटर different sense but when we say okay in do cheezon ke andar tamiz karo then we are using the same uh, idea over here but the, uh, the word is tamiz but we made it easy i think uh, just for the fluency we say tamiz okay then next example it says who are khairun now khairun is also a smooth of deal right it has a weak letter in it so that's why it doesn't look like aksaru but it is a smooth of deal so huwa khairun it is better right better in what terms in what sense in sawaban in reward wise it is better in reward or in uh, in in the sense of reward وخيرون and it is better اقبان as an outcome اقبا is like the end result right so Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is referring to uh, 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 hereafter right so the hereafter is better than this dunya reward wise we gonna see we we don't get uh, A reward of doing goodness in this world right away, right? Our reward is in the hereafter. So it is better in terms of rewards. So it, this is referring to hereafter and sawaban. So we see it is singular, it is common, it is nasab, and it is coming after ismut abdil. So this sawaban is tamiz. Wa khairun uqban. Again, same thing. Right? Singular, common, and nasab. After uh, ismut of deal. So this is my tamiz. Clear? It is easy, right? So far. Then next example. Ulaika. Those are. This is my muktada. Sharun, so they are now uh, bad, worse, and then worst, and this is comparative, right? So those are worse in worse sense. In worse sense, they are worse. Makanan, position wise or place wise. Right, so this makana is uh, coming as a tamiz, and sharun is what? What kind of word is sharun? What sega? Same like khairun. So this is a smooth of deal. And uh, again, this is not a regular word, so that's why it doesn't look like afdalu. Or akbaru or aksaru, but this is uh, also smooth of tail. Then it says wa adwalu and more lost, right? In what sense? Sabil and pathwise. So they are not on the straight path; rather, they are lost from it. So adulalu again is smooth of tail. It should be adulalu akbaru, right? So adulalu instead of adulalu there was two lambs, so they just merge them together and it become adulalu. Wa adulalu sabilan. So sabilan is 
them years over here. Then some more example over here. Anta, you are afdalu. You are a better, right? Minni than me. Now you're going to ask me in what sense I'm better than you. Right? So your answer should be kiratan or khattan in handwriting or in recitation or whatever in sense you want to say. Or huwa akbaru. So he is older. Minka. When, when I say older, then it is clear. But Akbaru is uh, um, bigger, right? Or in a sense that some he is more Minka than you. In what sense again? Sinan, age-wise. Right? Then it says Ahmadu. Ahmad is Ajmalu. So again, it's Mutafdil Ajmalu from Jamilun, right? Jamal, Jamil. So Ajmalu, Akbaru, Patron. Again, it's Mutafdil. Ahmad is Ajmalu, mean whom? In what sense? Kitabatan. In handwriting again. Right? So. Ahmad is more beautiful than them uh, in the sense of writing. So Ismoor Tafdeel basically, uh, can we make Ismoor Tafdeel from any verb or any uh, master? What do you guys it is think? From, it is from form one. Yeah, first of all, family one. Only family one can have uh, ismut of deal. Secondly, can can we make from any master? Any master. No. Because it should have some quality. It should have uh, some description. For example, when I said Jamil, that Jamil mean beauty. It is related to beauty, right? Or I said the wheel. Or someone is intelligent. Right? So then we can have a smooth of deal out of these kind of uh, um, isms. Right? Some isms will not make sense to have a smooth of deal. Like it's an adjective. Yeah. Yeah, the adjective yeah. Exactly, yeah. Adjective. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So some more example over here. That is the translation from the previous uh, uh, example. Okay. Then comes numbers. Okay. So number can be ambiguous. For example, in number 11 onwards, with the exception of hundred and thousand, that thing being counted, meaning madud, appears as a tamiz. As an example of a madud, in would be the word apples in the fragment fourteen apples. Okay, so we we're gonna look at the example. So basically, what they are saying, number from eleven onward, they need a tamiz after them. So number 11 up till 100 or 99, I should say. So uh, they need the means after them. So look at the example. Fun Fajarat. What does that mean, Fun Fajarat? What are the root letters? Fajara, Fajara, and it's the form seven. Very yeah. good. Yeah, so this is uh, um, uh, so burst out, no burst out. 
अगर हम ये कहें कि उट so maybe they are you know for example number 1 and 2 mm. they come as a sifamoso fragment yes, okay. yes, yes. then from mm. 3 to 9 they mm. come as a idafa fragment right they are different rows then, for all the set of numbers yes. yeah exactly then 11 yes. to 19 so after these numbers we need at the mees right so that's why i'm not sure that uh, uh, I, I, like you know the numbers is not me <laughs> i and next next chapter is numbers it's very right? complicated yeah so i really need to work hard this week <laughs> to understand first myself and then i i'm going to explain you guys but i need to double check how uh, with 100 or 1000 it will go right thank you thank you yeah so uh, it says within the exception of 100 and 1000 so that means yes uh, the mees is not coming with them right so it says n- number 11 onwards with the exception of 100 and 1000 so 100 and 1000 they have different uh, pattern even all these tens like uh, 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 right so they have different such so this is a lot to understand about the numbers so for now we're going to just say that 11 to 99 we need at the mees after them and rest inshallah we will dig deeper in next class jazakallah jazakallah khair bhai ya ha okay so uh isnata ashara asharata and uh, this is a number and after that uh, we need a tamiz next example it says inni indeed i raaitu aisa aisa ahada ashara so ahada ashara is uh, maful over here right so aisa uh, ahada mean one and ashara mean 11 sorry 10 so 10 plus 1 is 11 right so i saw 11 now it's not making sense 11 what right so that's why kaukaban came i saw 11 stars right so ahada ashara again this is number 11 and we are having uh, tamiz after it Then Sorry, it, there is one question. Mm-hmm. Kaukaban, 
Cockerbin is single, but when you see the translation, they are saying it. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, it's a this is little also, confusing. Yeah, this is also we need to make a note of it that even though the me is gonna be singular, right? But we are going to translate as a plural. Oh, that's like a rule. Okay. Yeah. So even Ainan, we are saying springs. But, right? but here we are dealing with numbers, like we are saying 11 stars. So 11 stars would be plural. 11 yeah, stars. exactly. Yeah. We yeah. cannot say 11 star. Hmm. It doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe in numbers, in numbers, we have to do it like that. Mm -hmm. No, the me is always going to be singular common. But we are going to uh, but that, translate it as, as uh, yeah. plural. Yeah. Yes. Like it's always going to be translated as true. As true. plural, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now point. next one. Yeah, it is interesting. Next one is fa it amu sitina miskina. So fa it amu. So this is like a, a command from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So this is a compensation. Fa it amu sitina. So sitina means uh, sixty. So you feed sixty. So now question is sixty what? Right. So 60 kids, 60 men, 60 women, right? So now the answer, like Miss Keenan is basically clarifying that uh, Miss Keen, poor people. So Miss Keenan, and you know, again, Miss Keenan, see, it's a singular, right? But we are, we're going to say people. So 60 poor people we need to feed. So this uh, Miss Keenan over here is uh, Tamiz. Okay, that was a uh, uh, little bit about uh, uh, Asma. There is more at the end, but uh, let's see our uh, Afal now. And then we're gonna discuss together Afal and uh, Asma. So now a file that takes the is the following is a list. So malaa to fill, zada to increase, and then is dada to increase again. But what's the difference? That is dada is lazim, right? So you are in increasing yourself. The action is only to you, and uh, zada is mutadi. So that's the difference between these two, but both of them need the means after them. Uh, then we have kafa, saa, hasuna, and there are more. But uh, this is at least we need to remember. So can we say them at least three times so it sink our mind better? Malaa, malaa, lada, is dada. Hmm. Kafa, Kafa, hmm. Asuna. Hmm. Asuna. Asuna. Very good. One hmm. more time. Malaa, Rada, 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 very, very good. So you guys need to memorize that list, okay? So at least we're gonna know that after. Asana can also come as asana, no? Yeah, asana would be smooth of deal then. Yes, yes. And hasuna is basically the fail of it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. So now uh, look uh, at some example. So malaa, he filled or it filled, right? So if I just say mala tu uh, zujaja ta, zujaja mean uh, like a, a glass, right? So I filled the glass. Hotel so, also. Yeah, so I filled a glass. So now you're going to ask with what? 
राइट यू कैन से हलीब और मान और वट एवर यू वन से राइट सो वी नीड टू ब्रिंग तमीज आफ्टर दैट राइट वट इज हलीब राइट in knowledge in knowledge mm-hmm. right so ilman uh, is coming as a tamiz over here then is the to shamsu nuran nura is that uh, it should be is is that tish shamsu right we need to is the tish shamsu Nora. So now, where is the file over here? Sham the sun. Sham the sun. Sham su, right? So the sun increased. Now you're gonna ask in what sense you're saying it? It increased. Light. No. So, yeah, no. Nora. In light. Right. So this verb need a tamiz. then we say kafahumullahu so allah subhanahu wa taala is sufficient for them in what sense and hell nusra nusra in help right and then it says saa ulaika saa mean terrible or bad okay so ulaika dos so dos are bad or evil right in what sense sohban company companion companion friendship in terms of companion or something yeah and then hasuna khalidun so khalid is beautiful right or hasuna uh, when i say beautiful then it gonna say okay i'm talking in sense of beauty but hasuna uh, is uh, in good like khalid is good right so you gonna say in what sense vachan face by beauty wise look wise right or, or i can say khalkan or khulkan khulk is uh, manner mannerism right so hasuna khalidun khul kaj aur vajhan right so we need to bring something to describe more or we say bi sarajulu how evil or how bad the mm-hmm. man how how bad how terrible is the man no how how we going to translate bit sir rajula the jalu is a file right like how terrible how terrible how terrible how we going to translate is the man is the man as a man how yeah how mm. terrible as a man he is right so now we need to say okay what who is that Ooh. man khalidan so khalid is really a terrible man as a companionship we can say or a, yeah so name a rajula again khalidan so how amazing is man uh, how amaz- amazing is khalid as a man mm. right khalid is the name yeah khalid is a name hmm. can it be certain how can it be common hmm. then that's so because it is right 
it is being a tamiz over here bisa nima they need a tamiz after them so how terrible uh, i'm struggling on the translation over here how terrible the how terrible the man is as a Khalid Allah. Khalid Allah. Yes, Khalid. Khalid. Khalid and also means always. Yeah, yeah. Always. Oh, no. Khalid and Allah. What does it mean? We are saying that Khalid is the uh, terrible man as a company or like a yeah, I think man to be with. Right? Okay, got it. Yeah. To live How with. How terrible uh, is I, Khalid? I live behind like a successful as a man okay right so Maybe. in this way how terrible is khalid as a man yeah or how amazing is khalid we are making jumla failure right with the fail all as a man uh as a man bisa and neema they they have uh I think uh, Mia, they yes. have and uh, Khabar. Sorry, someone was asking something. Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Naam, ma'am, naam means yes. Isn't no, it? nema, nema, nema. Okay, it is name. This is different. Naam is different. This is bisa. Bisa mean how evil or terrible. And the opposite okay. is Nema. How best or how amazing. Opposite of each other. No? Opposite of yeah. each other. Can we also tr uh, translate Khalid and as always like Khaliduna? They are going to live their own no, 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 no. It's not making sense as a. How we? How are you going to translate if you are taking a, as a some file? But um, but but if it is a Tamiz, it should be common. It is common. Khalidan is common. Khalidan is we're not taking it as a name. Name of a person. We are taking as a name. Then it becomes a proper. Names are always proper. I, I oh, you're saying it's proper or common, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to look yeah. into it. But, you know, uh, this is basically not even... Uh, uh, we're not going to take it as a Jumla failure because Bisa and Nema they need Isam after it and Khabar. So, oh, this is, okay, Nafis. Yeah, so Bisa, the Rajulu is the Isam of Bisa. Okay, and then this is Khalidan is basically the Khabar of it. Okay, so Khabar is going to be Mansub. Uh, of uh, Bisa and Nima. So that is basically a different, uh, uh, we are not even looking at Jumla failure. Okay. This is so the, the, can we translate as the misery of the man, something like that? Mm, how terrible, because you know, that is creating like amazement. These are the Afalu Tajub. Okay, so we are sh showing amazement over here. How terrible he is as a man. Or how amazing he is a as a man. Okay, so in that sense it is coming. Tata, these, uh, these works, they just act like Kana. They have seen... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is different. Uh, yeah, it is confusing because we are saying the means need to be common and uh, it look, doesn't look like it is common, but sometimes it's going to work like that. It, we are saying that it is, uh, the means is going to be always uh, mansu, but uh, we will see in uh, next examples that they can be majroor sometimes. So we, we need to be ready for the uh, exceptions, right? Whatever we are learning, nothing is 100%, right? 
So, but to mostly it is going to be singular. It is going to be common, right? But sometimes we know that there are always some exceptions. Uh, then for kafa, you're going to find in quran -e a lot of examples, right? So with the kafa, first of all, with kafa, you're going to find a ba. So the kafa is uh, basically, the, this verb is uh, married with the ba, preposition ba. So, wa uh, kafa billahi. Now, even though, if I ask you, what is the word Allah? What role it is playing over here? What should be your answer? Jarmajroor. It is Jarmajroor. Yeah. Look like Jarmajroor, but actually, what is that? If oh, I see this. It's a, it's a, outside door. Outside door. Yeah, exactly. This is the file of Kafa. Billahi. Yeah, this is the file of Kafa. But uh, so, since uh, that bar has to come, so it is uh, attaching with the file. So, sister, this bar is by Zahida, right? Yeah. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient. Uh, in what sense? As a wali. Valian, right. So it should be valian. I think this is a type over here. Valian. Right. It shouldn't be kasra over here. It should be fathatain. Wakafa billahi valian. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient as a wali. Wakafa billahi nasweeran. Again, yeah, same idea. Yeah. Right? Wakafa bihi ithmam mubina. So now over here, ithman is coming as a tamiz. And then it is sifa as well. Yeah, that is my question. So can, can tamiz, after tamiz, if we have another single one, we, we can make tamiz like a masuf and sifa? Yeah, it is being over here. So you, you see the example over here, is Yeah, so, yeah, so it can act. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Wakafa bi jahannama sa'iran. Right? So again, see, kafa is coming with the ba. So it is oh, married ba. with it, right? And then sa'iran. And jahannamu is basically a file over here. Right? Jahannam is sufficient as a sa'iran. No, sa'iran is like... Uh, burning. Uh, burning, yeah. Flaming, burning. Oh, flaming. Wakafa billahi aliman. Right? Wakafa billahi shaheedan. Wakafa billahi wakilan. So, Quran is filled... Wow. Yeah. And these are not all. There are still many, but I just put few over here. Alhamdulillah. Okay, then we see more examples. Bakur Rabbi Zidni Ailman. Very common dua, everyone knows that, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us that we need to make this dua. So asking uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, could you say, Rabbi, oh my Rabb, so Ya Rabbi, right? Zidni. Zidni is me, you increase me, right? So now question, in what sense? Rizkan, Malan, right? What sense you are asking? And then Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala saying, Ilman. Subhanallah. So we can see the importance of uh, knowledge over here. And this knowledge is re related to our deen. Right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us that uh, he, he could have said malan or riskan over here. But he preferred ilman. Then we have uh, liyazdadu. So they can increase in what sense? Imanan. So Imanan is Tamiz over here. 
ma'a imanihim. So they already have iman. So with that iman, they increase more in iman. Subhanallah. So nurun ala nur, right? So when you have some nur, then it's gonna catch fire on more nur. Next one, wakafa billahi waliyan, wakafa billahi nasfira. We saw that. Now, bi sasharabu. So how terrible is that drink? Wasa'at and the place of uh, living. Murtafakan and place, right? It'll just say, uh, um, no, sorry. Bi sasharabu. So how terrible is that drink? Wasa'at, and how terrible it is. In what sense, how terrible? Murtafakan, the place for living. Ni masawabu wahasunat murtafaka. So, ni'ma, again over here as a uh, amazement. So how amazing is the reward? Wahasunat and how excellent Murtafakan, the place of living. Then this is beautiful ayah. I love this ayah. Inna kafaru, indeed those who did kufar, wamatu, and they died, wahum kufarun, so this is their hal, right? So they died while they were in kufar. They didn't accept Islam. They didn't accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as ilah. Falai yukubala, so it is not going to accept from uh, min ahadihim, any one of them, mil ul ardi. So mil u is a mudaf over here, ardi mudaf idehi. And mil min fill off. Mm. Right? So it is not going to accept from them fill of earth, like the whole earth is filled with what? In what sense Zahaban. the whole earth is filled? Zahaban. Zahaban. In gold. So even though if they wish to uh, give that much wealth, that much gold as a compensation to get rid of that Jahannam, wala viftadabi, it's not going to be accept from them. Subhanallah. So this is the value of Iman. How much our Iman worth, subhanAllah. We will see only on the day of judgment. Right? In this dunya, we just lose our Iman here and there because we don't see it, its value. But real value going to show then. Okay, so now... The me is, we said that uh, basically it, it specify, right? It uh, uh, remove any ambiguity. So now the me is it's saying that uh, it can uh, clarify in two ways. One word is, uh, one thing is that uh, just one word is ambiguous, right? And after that, the me is com coming to just clarify this word. And sometimes the whole sentence would be ambiguous without the means, so we need to bring a tamiz. So in that sense, tamiz could be divided in two uh, categories. So example, sharif to litran. If I just say I drank a liter. So litran, a liter. So you're gonna say what? What did you drink? So I need to bring the meas, haliban, right? So all these measuring basically thing, liter, or I say I walked, 
I um, I walked a kilometer, right? So I need to specify the distance, right? So uh, all these uh, basically version or uh, uh, like uh, uh, the liquid measurements or even the distance we need to bring uh, the mees after them. Or another example, Ibrahimu Ahsanu Minni. So Ibrahim is uh, better than me, right? And then I need to bring, okay, in what sense? So khatan in handwriting or kitabatan in handwriting or ilman, right? So based on that, the maze could be divided into two. What is one is called the mezuzat, and this is basically all the other or uh, uh, linear measurement, right? Meaning we are measuring any um, any uh, what is that called? Uh, uh, any liquid, basically, right? So it can be used for any liters or measurement of capacity al -kail. so kail is also yeah kail is basically uh, the liquid thingy version right so uh, the other things we uh, measure them with the kilograms right so this is version and then yeah so basically these are the four things the mizuzat we're gonna uh, come in that number or uh, linear measurement, measurement of uh, capacity or version. So if you just uh, remember adat and uh, any scales of measurement, right? So that is good enough. Scales of measurement and adat, we need uh, the mees after that and that kind of the mees is called the mees that. Because uh, why we are saying Tamizuzad? Because this is basically related to only one word. The one word is ambiguous. And for that, we are bringing Tamiz. Right? And then if the, the whole sentence is ambiguous, then the, the, uh, that, that is different category. And we call it what? I think it, it's here. Tamizun Nisba. So these are basically two categories. Uh, we are going to divide the maze into. So don't uh, get gabrified with these terms. Just simply we are uh, remembering that if just one word is ambiguous, so we are saying that it, the mizuzat and uh, this is uh, ambiguity of any any measurement or numbers. Right? So look at the example. We said the word come. Did you see that word come in the Quran Yes. Right? So come mean how many? Right? So that resemble the number. This is not number, but is still resembling it. So we need to bring the me the means after that. For example, come bintan laka. How many right. daughters you have? Yeah, so bintan or bintan. waladan. How many boys do you have? How many daughters do you have? Yes, yes. Right? So we after come, we need to bring uh, tamiz. And sometimes, uh, uh, like there are not uh, the things that we mentioned that uh, it is some... Uh, a um, measure of capacity or weight or other, uh, but these things resemble these uh, scales of measurement and still we need to bring the means after that. Example is, ma fi samai qadru rahatin sahaban. Sahaban mean cloud. So ma mean not. Fi samai in the sky. There is no uh, cloud in the sky right there is not in the sky a cloud now 
kadru rahatin mean the size of the palm of the hand right sometimes hum kehte hain ek katra bhi jo hai na wo pani ka nahi hai right so there is not even a drop of water in the tank or whatever you gonna say right so now this is not any scale of measurement but still it resembles right to the scale of measurement so that's why even uh, we need to bring uh, tamiz after that so same idea over here that uh, the size of palm of the hand even though it's not a scale but still we are bringing uh, tamiz after that and which is sahaban over here ma fi samai qadru rahatin so if i say there is no palm of the hand in the sky you gonna say what what is not like so i'm gonna say sahaban cloud or next example hal inda ka kisun dakikan what is kisun mean sack of so have you got a sack if i just say have you got a sack hal inda ka kisun you gonna say sack of what right so i need to bring the mees after that and that is the kikan sack of flower so even though sack is not a tool of measurement but it resembles tool right so that's why we are bringing the mees after that then in quran e pak it says fa may amal misqal azratin right so now what is the translation whoever does an atoms weight now atoms weight is that a scale of measurement no no right but it resemble to a scale right so that's why we need to bring uh, uh tamiz after that and khairan is the tamiz over here so whoever does an atoms weight goodness will see it so this khairan is tamiz over here and what kind of tamiz we gonna call it tamiz of that because it is uh, uh, clarifying just one word miskal azarat in was ambiguous right so that's why we need to bring khairan with it uh ishtaraitu litran mitran sorry so litran is liter and mitran is meter right <laughs> so ishtaraitu mitran so i bought now i bought is clear right but as soon as i say mitran meter so now i'm going to ask like meter of what right so then we need to bring hariran with it and the interesting thing is that uh, all these uh, scale of measurement sometimes we can have min with that and in that case what going to happen obviously when min is there we going to have uh, a jar majroor fragment jar. but actually jar. this jar majroor fragment is uh, tamiz ye mahalle na sab ha yeah we are going to call it ye mahalle na sab yeah exactly so we gonna say it's tamiz tamiz so is tarah to mitra hariren we can also construct it as a idafa fragment right mm -hmm. or we can bring main so it is interesting then the mezu nisba is basically when the whole sentence is not clear and that's why we need to bring the tamiz so hasuna hazat talibu this student is good right so you gonna say in what sense so we gonna say khulukan his mannerism yes. then uh, hasuna 
Now you see that, okay, this tamiz can be arranged as either fire or even maful bihi in a sentence. So, hasuna bilalun khulukan. So, hasuna bilalun. What kind of, uh, like how we're going to label it? Hasuna is the fail. Where is the file? Bilal. Right? And now khulukan, this is tamiz. Right? But uh, I can construct hasun, hasuna khuluku bilalin. Then it will not be mansoon. Yeah. So hasuna khuluku bilalin. Bilal's manners are good. So can it be like maful bihi? Maful, I mean. No, hasuna khuluku. No, no, that's the file. Like. Yeah, so this is the file over here. Then um, in the Quran, we say, We explored the earth, right? <coughs> in what sense? In spring wise, right? So, is the tamiz over here, but we can rearrange this sentence wafajjarna uyun al-ardi right wafajjarna and we explored it uyun al-ardi the spring of the earth the and now uyuna is mafulun bihi oh I see so this tamiz is this tamiz is always mansub and cannot be majroor. In that sense, it, uh, it cannot be majroor, but we see that uh, we can make tamiz majroor even. So, kam kitaban indaka, right? So, kam waka ayin in Quran Ipaki, we will see. So, waka ayin also mean how many? So, uh, all these words come, waka ayin, need tamiz after them. Kam rajulan, how many people or how many men? Ja akim ilal muhadira in the lecture. So, kam rajulan. And then we see all these examples of uh, uh, measuring ishtaraitu litran, right? Vazanul bakalu kilo kamhan, kamhan is wheat. So the grocer, the, uh, uh, the shopkeeper, we can say, or grocer, he measure what? Kilo. So kilo of what? Kamhan, wheat. Sharib to Kasan Ma'an. So I drank a cup. Right? So it's not clear. I'm going to say Ma'an. So Ma'an is the, the means okay. of here. Then sometimes we use Misla or Amsal, the plural of it, or Gaira. And that is also referring to some kind of a measurement, right? So, mala to misla. So, I feel like of it. Or I feel same. You're going to say same what? Haliban. For example, you are drinking or you feel a glass with, uh, uh, let's say, with soft drink, right? And I say, I filled same glass with halib. Right? So then misla is basically uh, uh, taking as a uh, measurement. Right? So I filled misla haliban. Or inna lana amsalaha ibilan. So we have same same what? Ibilan. Camels. For example, at, at uh, 
Eid ul Adha time, so you uh, people go and buy animal, right? So there is a herd of uh, all these sheep or goat, right? And then you are looking for a camel, right? So let's say there is four or five uh, uh, all these camel uh, camels group, right? And then they have uh, goats group. So the the person who is selling them could say that okay. This is my herd of uh, goat, right? And but if someone is asking for the camel, so he, he can say, he, I have same herd, like same quality, like good one, or same number of cam uh, camels with me, right? So something like that. So a missile can be used as a uh, specifying similarity. And still, it need a tamiz after that. Or gaira could be used. Gaira mean opposite of it. Difference, right? So mala to gaira. So I failed other than aslan. So let's say there is a, a different kind of drinks or different kind of uh, uh, these uh, all these. Uh, uh, um, like, uh, yeah, uh, uh, different things, right? Maybe there is some, um, some, 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 what, like uh, honey in one container and then some other containers of all other things, right? So I filled all uh, my container with all the things but honey. So basically, I'm making an exception over here, right? So I filled all but Aslan. Did you get it? It's a little confusing and I don't think so. It is used in quran -e but uh, just for our knowledge that uh, we should know that sometimes Misla and Vaira, even though they are not uh, a scale of measurement, they can be also used as a uh, like a because they are acting like a, they are scale, right? So that's why the uh, tamhi is going to come after that. Inna lana gaira ha ganaman. So inna indeed lana for us other than ganaman are like goat and uh, sheep. Sheep. Yeah, yeah, sheep. So we have other than sheep. So we, I don't have sheep. So, uh, but I have the other animals, right? So that is the basically idea over here. So similarities, differences, all these uh, uh, measurement, come, kain, other. So all, all these gonna be uh, need at the means. So Whose mic is oh. on? Um, fa, for her. Yeah. Allahu Akbar. Kam min jumla tin katabat. So now see, kam is coming. Kam min jumla tin. It could be kam jumla tan. Or kam katabat jumla tan. Right? It could be said in that way. And then this tamiz is clear. If I say kam katabat jumlatan. So you are showing some amazement. How many sentences did you write? Right? Someone is writing an essay and it's a long essay, right? So you're asking how many sentences you have wrote. So this jumlatan. Uh, basically a tamiz but uh, it is coming with me over here so, in, it, so hmm? it means uh, it, it should not be jumlatan I mean fata, uh, we, can, we, can than... have it. we can have in that way but it is so, showing that sometimes it gonna come with me either. oh I see I see so it is lafzan um, lafzan majroor but uh, aslan yeah, yeah. Mansub. I think that kind of concept 
या एग्जैक्टली सो कम मीन जुमला दिन का तबत कम मीन नकू दिन जिसे नकद लाइक बिल मनी राइट कम मीन नकू दिन बाकी है हाउ मेनी हाउ मच बिल्स और हाउ मच नकद मनी यू हैव लेफ्ट विथ बाकी या बाकी राइट सो मीन नकू दिन ओवर हियर इज बेसिकली तमीज ओवर हियर इस्तामल तो सब आता आशारा अगेन नंबर इज हियर क्वेश्चन इज वट वट सेवनटीन राइट सो इधर अकलामन और इवन मिन मिनल मिनल अकलामी राइट मिनल अकलामी इस तरह ही तो लिथरन इट कूड बी जैतन जैतन इज ऑयल राइट और बिन जैती व्हाट इज अकलामन अस्सा सिंगुलर एंड मनसूब सो it should be kalaman not um, a kalaman aklaman oh oh so because sing, singular right so istamal tu sabata ashara kalaman or minalaman i think this is a broken plural right yeah aklaman so if it is plural kalaman will be singular oh that way you are saying okay if we are making just the mees Okay. Right. So yeah. it should be column and then. Yes. Ka ayin min tawali bin takhruju min al jamia. Right. So it could be tawali ban. Right. If we are using how many students came out from the university. So, but we can use with min min tawali bin. Tawali bin. Yeah, and you will see in Quran and Pakistan an example. What come min kariyatin ahlak naha, right? So it could be what come kariyatan, but min zayda is adding more uh, emphasis. Any kariya, any town, right? So for more emphasis, the min is coming over here because this is more emphatic. हाल what was the hall of them that they were zalim wrong doers waqayin min qaryatin amlaitu laha wa hiya zalimatun we filled them we filled what like the we filled the earth with, with them right we destroyed them and filled the earth with them and wa hiya zalimatun पास्ट 
that many kariya we destroyed them they didn't believe so they are not going to believe right so out of his knowledge he is uh, saying that uh, they are not going to believe no matter what wa kam qasamna min kariyatin so same idea so qasamna mean destroy okay now what is the difference between hal and tamiz right so a little uh, uh, the way we can distinguish it we know that hal is mostly uh, of ism fail ism of fool ism sifa or master right these are the four things hal could be right but if you guys notice the me is is not any of them right so the me is the words are being used with the me is basically these are the hal is for a fall that uh, asma that are mushta right but uh, the me is is for the mostly i'm not going to say always but mostly it is with the jamid now you see uh, like uh, kaukaban right kaukaban is uh, can, can we conjugate kaukaban no no right can we uh, uh, conjugate maan or haliban no right? so these uh, we see that the me is mostly uh, coming with the uh like with the asma which are basically jamid not 100% again but mostly we can say but uh, hal is what hal is always with a mushtak so we gonna find uh, hal as a ism fail ism of all ism sifa and master but this is not the case with the uh, tamiz so then so, uh, even shahran right inna iddata shuhuri indallahi isna ashara so 12 shahran now you tell me shahran is what jamid or mushtak can we conjugate shahar shahar mean month right so there is no conjugation for that mm -hmm. or malan is there any conjugation for malan yes or no 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 is there any conjugation for rafiqan no yes it is rafaqa rafiqa or rafaqa okay and rafiq is uh, is some sifa so, so this is hal the... then this is not the means no not always because we said that with the hasuna or bisa we need a tamiz after them oh i see so it is an exception kind of thing okay yeah and then zahaban over here is the means is that uh, uh, surfable yeah surfable zahaba huh can we do surf of it zahaba yazhabu not not that one no no but this is not uh, the uh, fail zahaba this is gold oh this is a gold one okay okay mm -hmm. this is gold we can do that sada can you make the slide little bigger please hmm sada Okay, mm -hmm. Leila Tan. Can we do surf of it? No. No. Right. So, uh, you guys can see that mostly there are going to be the me is gonna be the words that are jamid, is some that are jamid mostly. Right. There are always exception, but uh, our hal is always. uh is a mushtak right 
so basically that's all for today and then some more example example of the myths from the quran epoch so i'm gonna leave for you guys uh you're gonna translate it find it if you want to label it label it right so that is uh, for you to enjoy and then your homework would be that uh, find 10 example of the maze from Quran parts other than already mentioned in the in that lesson plan okay so you're gonna find a lot of the maze the maze in the Quran park so at least op uh, open Quran park and find an example label it translate it and then you guys can discuss in your study session or you can even uh, uh, show your homework in the group in our main group so with that we can end our session barakallahu li wa lakum fil quran al hakim wa nafa'ani wa iyyakum bi ayati wa zikri al hakim subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiruka wa nastaghfiruka wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik subhana rabbika rabbil izati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh was there hello just give me one minute <laughs> Thank you.